Major Slack videos. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through this more Elden Ring is best. So we just finished taking down the God Skin duo, and we have a bell bearing to turn in. And I also want to straighten out my um, my pouches. Let's put uh, the horse back here, and let's get rid of the gold pickle foul foot. Put maybe uh, anything. Let's put the telescope. And you want a lot of sleep pods available. And um, my loadout is. Change that to the St. Trina sword. Okay, here's my loadout carrying Regal Scepter, Saint Tr Sword of St. Trina, Hornbow. I'll just hover over them and you can see what they are. Okay, we have money. Let's go to the round table. Okay, moving right along here. If I don't have time to do the commentary, just do exactly what I'm doing. It's all planned. Been working on this all morning. Um, we have money. Let's turn on the bell bearing first. And we want to upgrade some weapons. So, Mr. Laptop says buy four sevens. We cannot buy sevens and eights. Smithing stone sevens and eights. But four sevens and 21 eights. That's right, 21 eights. All right? And we're going to upgrade the Hornbow and the Banished Knight's Shield. And the Sword of St. Trina, because we got a Somber Nine. Oh, snap. Okay, here we go. Sword of St. Trina up to 9. Hornbow, Hornbow up to plus 25. Max that baby out. And the Banished Knight's Shield up to plus 25. Very good. Notice I switched my helmet back to the Twin Sage Glintstone Crown, which will give us plus, um, plus six intelligence. So if we put one more point into intelligence, we'll get intelligence up to the soft cap. So intelligence up to 69. Okay, and if you look at your intelligence, you can see it is at now at 80, the soft cap. We're not going to put any points into intelligence because it's... Um, somewhat of a losing proposition. Next, um, this is for me. You may want to do this, but I'm going to buy, um, buy out the rune arcs. This will give me like, you know, the ability to do a lot of praxis runs. You don't have to do this, not necessarily part of the walkthrough, but I would recommend it. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you are like fresh out of rune arcs now. Um, and that's that. I'm going to spend all the rest of our money on fire arrows. So over to Aeonia Swamp Shore here in Kaled. What's coming up next is a rather rather dangerous run. I've been working on this all morning. I turned what was essentially a rune arc destroying machine <laughs> into basically a point and click cakewalk. Yeah, I've been working on this all morning. I appreciate it giving me a thumbs up. Because this shit ain't easy. And I'm going to get you through. I'm going to get you through real easy. Okay, so I spent all my money on fire arrows. And we're going back to the scene of the crime at Dragon Temple Altar. Okay, so everything I'm showing you is planned. And, like, um, what's the word? Tested. Thoroughly tested. Okay? Do not deviate. And you do just fine. I'm going to turn this into a point and click operation. Okay, from here, with the loadout I just showed you, you're going to rest. Make sure you rest and then you're going to take off right away to the north. To the north through here. You get down on the bottom of the stairs, go into sneak mode. Go over here, lock onto the sky through a sleep pot. Nighty night there, big boy. There we go. Now you got one minute. So hustle it up here. Down this way. Get Terra Magica ready. Just get just before around the corner. Cast Terra Magica here. Over to Night Comet. Lock on. Charge Night Comet. Instant kill. Switch over to yours. 
your sleep sword, your sword of Saint Trina, and hustle it up and go crit hit this guy. Get close, press the attack button, should do him in instantly. Hey, okay, let's go back upstairs. Switch over to your bow. Okay, we're gonna get on this little point here, and we're gonna shoot the guy. This beast man way over here, he's gonna be a bit of a problem, so let's take care of him now. His boomerangs can't hit you, so just keep pelting him with mighty shots. And whenever he tries to throw a boomerang, it's a good time to shoot him. I call those things boomerangs. <laughs> and that's one thing you can do, is just shoot right past him and kind of distract him. Go off the edge. There we go. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, what was that? And down he goes. Okay, there you go, now that he's down. Drop on down here. Switch over to your carrying Regal Scepter and the Staff of Loss. Charged Knight Comet on this this doggy here. And carefully grab this. This guy here, um, let's just do a couple of Knight Comets on him. Charge the first one. A couple of, a couple of doggies off to the right there. Watch it. We can pick up some old fang, but more importantly, around the corner here is a big hero's rune. It's a bit of a gap to jump. Two ways you can negotiate this a running jump, or you can just sneak along the ledge here. Just stick to that side there, and you can just sneak along like that. Your choice. Okay, here we want Terra Magica ready to go. Get down here, right up to the statue hunter down here. You're gonna just pass the statue a little bit, back up, see a guy approaching down there, and then back up, back up here. Get yourself in the corner here. Wait for it. And when this bad boy approaches the light, when he gets into the light, you're gonna cast Terra Magic and switch over to Night Comet. Okay, lock on. When he stops, charge. Night Comet. Insta kill, there we go. Okay, switch over to your Sword of Saint Trina. Stick to the right side here. We're not going to engage in any of the enemies. Off to my left. Just go down here. Here we have another lightning beast man. We're out of range once again, just like the other one. Just keep pelting him with arrows. Mighty shot all the way. Sometimes he comes down comes down the stairs. Other times he'll just like he'll fall off. <laughs> Gets a little low, you know. Yes, he's coming down the stairs. This is ideal. Okay, so I think it's time to switch over to Night Comet. And he committed suicide before we could get him. Because he was too ashamed to be killed by Night Comet. This is a bit, a bit of a tricky jump. Whatever you do, do not do a running jump. Just do it like a... Just push forward and jump. If you do a sprinting jump, you'll overshoot and fall to your ultimate demise. And get that golden rune there. Okay, so get your sword of Saint Trina ready again. And make sure you got some sleep pots ready to go. A couple of beastmen around the corner. 
you could probably skip this, but um, I like to take care of these guys just in case. So I'm gonna just throw a sleep pot at this guy. Just wait here. Usually this alerts the other guy, and it did not. So if it didn't, because there's another one beyond him, right there. Make sure you put them both to sleep. Okay, once they're both asleep. See, wake up. Time to die. Done and done. Next, we got the Crucible Knight. We're just going to walk right by him. He's right there. Um, a force to be reckoned with. He's only worth 8,000 runes. And we all know that we can make 13,000 runes a lot easier than killing this guy. So we're just going to scoot along the side here. Get ready to jump! And grab the Smithing Stone 8. Watch it now. Get ready to make another jump. Jump! And again. Okay, so do it just like that. Run along the left side behind those pillars and everything. Just walk right by him. It's not worth it. Okay, here's where it gets really hellacious. Alright, switch from the Sword of St. Trina to the Meteoric or Blade. That's a backup, and uh, that's good, that's good. Night Comet, Staff of Loss on the other hand. And we're going to take care of some Stormbirds. Down here in Sneak Mode. Charge Night Comet. Sometimes you can take them out with a regular Night Comet, but why bother taking the chance? Always charge. Doesn't cost any more more FP to charge a Night Comet. So that's two. Count your kills, people. Count your kills. These guys are extremely dangerous. That's three. That's four. We're gonna drag him off in the distance, we're not gonna kill him. Watch it now! I'll explain what to do in a minute. Um, let's take a pot shot at this guy with the bow with the bow to get him coming at us. And get ready with Night Comet when he approaches. Down he goes, alright? Okay, next. Um, gotta watch out for the lightning patches. That's all I have to do is just avoid the patches. See that but rose red patches. That's where the lightning's coming down. Look down here, make sure there's nothing here. Drop down here. Okay, night comet on this guy. Okay, there's another one here that may be just out of range, so let's take him on with the bow. And immediately switch over to night comet when he approaches so you can take him out. If you miss, switch over to your ore blade. Okay, so with those two guys out. Switch back to your bow. Watch out for the lightning patches. That's where the lightning's coming down. Take out this guy up here. Very important. Harass him. And make sure he's dead. Here he comes. Down he goes. Great. Okay, so switch over to your bow. And we're going to make a run for underneath the arches up ahead. And let's go. Don't bother picking up anything. Get right in here. Get under here. And just start pelting this guy. You're not going to be able to kill him. 
he's almost dead. If you're quick enough, you can get in there and try to kill him, but I, I find it's a pain in the ass. So I just shoot him a couple times just to get rid of him. And there we go. Okay, so let's get back to our beast loadout with the Sword of St. Trina. Vulgar Bloom, Golden Rune 12, and most importantly, a somber ancient dragon, dragon smithing stone. I haven't decided whether I want to put this on the Orb Blade or the Sword of St. Trina, so don't spend it in advance, okay? I haven't decided yet. I want to experiment with a few strategies with the final four boss fights and see where is the best. Okay, so, um,. Get our night comet load out. There's a guy patrolling around the corner here. This is kind of tricky. Um, let's see if we can take out this guy here. Actually, um, I got a better idea. Just approach. This should get him to start patrolling. Here he is. And charge night comet. There we go. Okay, that's the big pain in the ass guy. Okay, so we're to St. Trina, and just for some extra insurance, let's put on the Assassin's Crimson Dagger. We're gonna do these guys with the mist of slumber. Nighty night there, big boy. Just get close. Press the skill button. Put him to sleep and crit hit. Occasionally this backfires, so get ready. Usually I dodge back a couple times just to make sure. Okay, rinse and repeat on this guy. Good. Now this guy around the corner, we just want to pop out from around the corner and throw a sleep pot at him as quickly, quickly as you can. Uh oh, okay, so that's why I say as quickly as you can. If it fails, just do what I'm doing. Run away like a little girl. This, this guy's a force if you reckon. Here he comes, shields up. Guard counter. Bad beast man. Bad. Yep, so just keep that shield up and get ready to do a strong attack right after he hits it. If he starts wailing away at you, count five hits and then do your guard counter at the fifth hit. And you get one. You always knock him out if you get the guard counter. Okay, and get a somber seven here. Switch over to your bow. Go just past this corner here to get this guy to spawn here. There he is. Stick yourself right beside the corner here and start pelting him with mighty shots. And get ready to duck back behind the corner. Usually I do a couple right away because he's going to try to throw those boomerang crap at you. So just wait from around the corner. And when he stops throwing the boomerangs, hit him again. Yeah. And we got him. Great. Okay, let's refill FP. Switch over to Night Common, or rather, Terra Magica, and carefully go across here. Okay, this is really dangerous territory now. You're gonna go just to the top of the stairs. Cast Terra Magica. Switch over to Comet Azure and blast this guy. Make sure he's dead. Okay, I'm going to switch over to the Sword of St. Trina. Make sure you got some sleep pots ready to go. Refill FP just in case. 
Actually, switch over to the bow, first of all. I'm going to carefully go in here, look on the ground, see like a dark half circle right here, right by this edge here, right there. Okay, I'm going to go aim just past the corner and then throw a sleep pot. Listen. Hear that sound, you know you got him. Here, you're going to approach this doorway here, aim at the top of the stairs and throw another sleep pot. Got him. Now switch over to your sword of St. Trina. Quickly take. Salted flesh. Backstab. Skill right away. Put him to sleep. Nighty night there, big boy. And backstab again. Make sure you do this quickly because you only got a minute for the other guy. Same thing with this guy. And that's the way to take care of those guys. Those guys are really dangerous. Do it exactly like that and you have no problem. And for your reward, you get the Somber Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 5. So now we can buy as many Somber Stones as we like of all kinds. 1 through 9. And that's it. That's my run. <laughs> like I said, I worked on that all morning. That was initially a rune arc destroying machine. I mean, I, I, I died so many times figuring out this run, but I finally got it down. So, thumbs up for the Slackster. All right, so let's go back to um, the round table and turn in the bell bearing. And, um, see, so now we can buy all kinds of somber smithing stones. We can buy, we can buy threes and fours from EG, um, in Lyurnia of the Lakes. For now, let's buy, um, a Grateful Glove Word 8 and a Grave Glove Word 9. Okay. Got the money. And let's go see Rodrika and bump up the demi humus to plus nine. Take a look around. Don't worry. I'll continue, which is why his roots he won't let his shackles hide. Okay, so Rodrika and the blacksmith are having a bit of a tip. Here we go. Demi human ashes up to plus eight and plus nine. There we go. Oh, I could bring him up to plus ten. Interesting. Um, yes, let's do that. There we go. Demi humans maxed out. And let's sell off. Oh snap. And we're just short of leveling up. So let's go make a little trip to the ATM. Make a withdrawal. Let's just reset the big bird. Have a routine, shoot through the hole as soon as the bird turns around. He commits suicide. Goodbye, cruel world. And you earn 13,000 runes. And we're gonna put points into mind. it. Back to beside the Great Bridge. And coming up next I'm going to show you an easy way to take down the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Whoops, a little jump cut there. I decided to do the Draconic Tree Sentinel um, right now because it's just a short fight. It's going to take like, you know, 10 seconds if everything goes well. I'm just going to use the same strategy that I used in um, the original prisoner walkthrough. It's just a matter of getting the right distance away from this guy. Ok, 
Okay, so I've got... Let's say this bush right here. See this little bush right here? Okay, so, Terra Magica. Switch over to Comet Azure. We'll pick up Foul Foot. Flask of Wonders Physic. And I'm taking too long. There you go. Come on. Now, I would amend that strategy. That was a little too close. So that was kind of like a little risky. So see this little this little tuft of grass here? I would back up a little bit. Say right about here. So that he doesn't start approaching. You want to get close enough that you can hit him with common azure, but not so close that you trigger him. So yeah, I'd say right about here. And that should work perfectly. So there we go. And we're in the money again. So now we're at the door of the the Malekith boss fight. We're at, we're at the final four. The final four boss fights. Barring any uh, extensive preparation I have to do for the Elden Beast boss fight, we should be able to do this and do the the whole run in under twenty hours. As well, awesome. Okay, so I'm, now I'm going to sign off. Thanks a lot for watching. If you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.